I feel like I am operating someone or something. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm back with a video I actually wanted to record a while ago. Um, probably some years ago and I never, never really did it. So um, I'm very much excited, you know, to finally be able to record this video and I really hope that you enjoy and I hope this gives you some tips and tricks how to take care of your handbags. As you know, we, you know, we are handbag lovers, we love our handbags, we love our SLGs, however, we still need to take care of them because um, those items, you know, they age with time and they get dirty or, you know, used. So in order to keep them as, um, good as possible in a, in a good condition we you know need to take care of it so i have this big passion to you know clean my bags uh, after each use so when i am picking the bag again for if you know to use it i'm i'm you know excited and happy that it's already clean um i'm going through um a few steps how i am taking care of my handbags and if you are interested just keep on watching as you recognize by now, all of my handbags have always been stuffed or, you know, well, actually not always. Um, whenever I bought a handbag, I stored it the way the sales associate told me to store it. However, I quickly realized that I didn't like how the bags was basically keeping a certain shape I didn't like. So I quickly realized that I have to, you know, come up with an idea and for me, the best idea to keep my bags in shape was getting either pillows or, um, you know, keeping air papers from all the shippings and put it inside my handbags. And I buy all my pillows um, from Ikea. And as you can tell, it's a square mini pillow and most of my bags, you know, can hold this one. Of course, smaller bags, I tend to put some air papers inside and I don't want to you know stretch them way too much however i really try to keep the back in shape some of my friends they even have a back organizer they put inside their bags which is also a great idea to keep it in shape i um, opted for pillows or um hair and you know air papers here i'm showing you an example from you know with uh with the air papers, this bag is uh, it's one of the smaller bags and as you can tell here I have one air paper and then of course I have the dust bag folded inside my bags. All the dust bags are inside my bags, I keep them together so you know whenever I'm, I need to use the dust bag I know it's inside the bag. Alright you guys, this is the first step. So basically try to keep your bags in shape by you know adding a, an, a, a pillow or an air paper. It is you know you enjoy your bags much more if you see that the shape is uh, still in a great condition. I have this pouch, um, this is a cosmetic pouch. I received this once when I bought some Cosmeticas and I have here in it all my cleaning um, essentials that I use to clean my handbags. First of all, what I use and always use is basically a piece of um, cloth and I use this basically for putting my bags or my accessories on top of it so whenever i know i'm gonna clean a handbag or you know if i don't do it every time this is something this is a procedure that i do just um a few times a year depending on how much i use the bag but if i want to do a deep clean this is a piece of cloth i'm using where i put my handbag on top of it so i'm not gonna damage or i'm not gonna uh, you know dirty any other places and then here I have some cloth these are typical plasticky cloth um, I put this on my hands because I want to be very careful also in if I'm touching certain products that may damage my skin as well I want to be very careful with my handbags if I have nail polish on it and so on and so forth then I would recommend a piece of um, microfiber piece you know cloth where you can dust your handbag or you know clean it so this is something you can buy in any um, you know department stores I'm sure then what I also have and this is the main actually the main topic for me on how I clean my handbags because the the part I'm cleaning of my handbag is especially the hardware the hardware gets dirty and gets used you know and you really can tell but here again this is like um 
uh, uh, to polish you know your hardware the silver hardware and this one to polish the brass hardware what I also have and this one used to be now one of uh, Louis Vuitton you don't need to get it from Louis Vuitton you can buy it you know in any um, shoe store I believe or you know stores where leather is sold however this now it's called Le Balm and it's basically a smooth cream to protect um, and to work into your leather pieces uh, mostly cloth I would say like jackets or maybe shoes um, I've never used this now on a handbag leather handbag I use this actually more for the zipper to you know I put a little bit on this on the zipper and I just work it in so to make the zipper smoother because sometimes with usage the zipper tends to get like cracky and it's not really zipping as smooth as used to so this is for what I'm using this cream and I'm gonna show you and demonstrate you know closer how I use it and then here I have another product this is um, to you know for shoes actually and this is just a cleansing uh, a, cl a leather cleansing uh, product um, I'm sure you know what it is I just bought this to, to use only on my leather handbags if I want to give back a certain um, you know shine and cleanse so I use this one and then here I have some baby wipes this is an old fashion type of you know cleaning um, idea that we used to and also talk about it you know a few years ago on YouTube I have always um, I always use this um, sensitive without any alcohol and without any scents I use this always on my handbags to clean them and I'm also here gonna show you how I'm using it and lastly what I'm gonna use is a a vacuum cleaner as you can tell I vacuum the interior of all my handbags after every usage I don't like having you know um, dirt and dust inside my handbags or if anything you know came into my handbag from outside I can't just put it away and you know on my back on my shelves I need to vacuum clean it and this is what I'm using for so I basically have here my vacuum cleaner I remove the bigger piece I just attach this piece and with the lower setting I go inside gently inside my handbags and I'm just vacuuming the dust inside my handbag Alright you guys, so basically um, let's pretend I was using this handbag and yeah, so as you can tell this handbag actually should not be dirty because I already cleaned it but what I do is so this is my vacuum cleaner I just put you know this piece here and then I have here a gently brush to clean the inside of my bags so I always always do this on the lowest setting I go inside my bag and I clean it. This is a new piece. I use this one only on my handbags. I never go and you know vacuum clean other parts in my house with this one and then I use the same in my bags. This is really only for my handbags. So it looks so much beautiful, you feel much more cleaner whenever you use it next time again. And I think, I don't know, I think for me it really works out when I vacuum clean my handbags after usage and then I, I you know, put back the pillow or air papers inside my handbags, keep it in shape and then I put it back on my shelf and it's ready to get used another time. Here as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, everything is quite white here at the moment. Let me see, maybe I can do it like this. As you can tell, this is just a sponge it's a probably you can use this as a makeup sponge you know and I use this actually for my um, for the cream I'm apologizing for the setup but I'm just trying my best to show you and demonstrate you how I am doing it there's no way for me that I'm able to protect everything else I you know could use some plasticky you know to protect the other parts of my handbags but I'm trying to be as careful as possible and demonstrate you how I do it so again this is the cleanser and protect care for bras so I put just a little amount a little amount on my sponge where I actually go you know put it just a little bit I put a little bit too much but 
actually a little goes a long way right and then I take my microfiber cloth piece of cloth and I work it in and I just massage it in and clean it I could also remove the lock completely from the handbag of course this is possible and as you can tell this is the third that is coming off um, and this is how my lock now is shining again I'm not sure if you can tell but this is the way same I'm doing with the zipper pull here be careful and do not go on the canvas or on the leather handbag and then also here gently I try to work the cream inside this zipper pull and there you go and this is then the way it looks like and then of course you can go also here you know this bits here this part this is just a quick demonstration to show you how I try to you know clean my bras on my handbag with the zipper pull if I feel like the zipper pull is you know a little bit unfunctional I would say as I mentioned before I have here this Le Balm this is actually a like a waxy it's like a waxy um, a white wax or just a smooth balm I'm sure you can get this one in any store that sell shoes or maybe also handbags or just leather pieces and I go very very gently on top of the zipper very very gently you have to be careful because the balm can get stuck inside the zipper holes you know the teeth of the zipper so I go very gently with my brush and work the product inside the zipper and then again also here the other part of the cloth I use to gently work the product that I just applied with the brush if you feel like you need more you can you know add a little bit more I would not go overloaded from the beginning it doesn't make sense you know do not be overwhelmed with all those products because you know bags do not require as much product but still require a bit of attention because we love them right and then I go and try and now I definitely can tell that zipper is much smoother there you go so, all right so this is one way how to you know clean and, and and you know try to make your zipper work again and this here are my are my um, baby wipes and I use those and I would never use all any others because I really am happy with this one this I get from a local department store here where I live in Switzerland um, and it's called Milette it's ultra soft care sensitive there is no alcohol and no no fragrance inside so what I do with this here I take just one um, baby wipe which is basically wet I like to just clean the canvas you know very very gently you know I, I go and clean the bottom after my usage not that I put my handbags on the floor but you know it could happen so I clean the bottom then I clean here the top the front the back you know and with Damier Eben handbags I'm not even worried if I go over the treated leather because it's so so gently so it's just dusting basically dusting away any dirt that may be being attached to the handbag completely new microfiber cloth and I go over my handbag and drag it so this is what for what I use my baby wipes I do the same with leather handbags so in this case here this is all leather 
I have here some gold bras. I have some product left and I try to put the cream on the bras or on the hardware I should say. Be careful to not you know um, to not touch any piece of leather and then here with a microfiber cloth I gently work the product inside the hardware and try to clean it and to bring back the shine. You won't be able to remove any scratches your hardware has. However, and also depends on, on what type of quality the hardware is on the handbag. So you can definitely remove the dust and the, the dirt, you know, and then bring back a shyness, I would say. So and then also here I have this um, baby wipe. I go very gently and because I know how this leather is. This is not sensitive. I would never do, I would never apply this um, baby wipe to any sensitive leathers. This is a smooth leather, uh, a very smooth leather. So I know from experience that it is not damaging my leather. Here the auto microfab cloth. This procedure I'm not doing with all my handbags, you know, because I know that this handbag is um, not as delicate as other leathers. I am able to clean it, you know, with the baby wipe and then dry it with a microfiber cloth. I would not recommend to do this with all the handbags. For example, I have here a pattern leather Christian Dior handbag and this is the promenade clutch. I would not go over this handbag with a baby wipe even though I'm sure it is not um, damaging. I mean this is a, a personal opinion. I would only go with a dry microfiber cloth and just go over the leather and remove any fingerprints or any dust, dirt the back my has. Same with my other Dior bag. Also here, I'm the leather here might be a little bit more delicate, so I would not go over with any baby wipes. I'm, you know, using the baby wipes only on my canvas handbags. And then again here, I go very, very gently with my baby wipe, and then I just dry it with the other cloth. Here again, I could, you know, use the rest of the brass cream and go over the zipper pool here. And there you go. This is how I take care of my accessory. Here, another example. This is a, a full leather handbag and has even um, like the suede leather here on top and here is smooth leather for the suede leather I use just this roller here to remove any hair or dust that may are you know sitting that may be sitting on top this is the way I just you know keep this part clean and then the leather part I am absolutely not afraid with this here with this particular handbag what I used is as well a little bit of this shiny you know shiny protector for any type of leather and what I do is I go very very gently very very gently and not too much I go over it and try to pro you know work the product inside the leather to bring back a certain shine and this step I only do once a year maybe depends on how many times I use the handbag. This is how I tend to clean the leather part of my of any of my handbags. With lighter handbags like this one from Valentino, I'm even a little bit more careful. Instead of using the the plasticky cloth, I go with some um, you see this is more a cotton type of cloth. And then I use here another, you know, my clean my clean 
microfiber cloth and I am just going over the hardware where I just dust away or clean away the dust. I'm not using any particular clean here, not even for the hardware because I'm way too scared to dam damage the leather. I just go over it like this and try to bring back the shine, you know, same with the chain. I just try to clean the chain like this. And there you go guys. This is the way how I try to clean my handbags and how I try to keep them as pristine as possible uh, from a condition perspective. Um, again, you know, I have, I've showed several products and um, even though I showed those products, it's not, it doesn't mean that I'm using all those products. The main thing I'm using is absolutely this protector, um, protector cream for my hardware, silver hardware or brass hardware. I use this this um, here to give back a shine on only my leather handbags that I feel like I can apply it. I'm not going with this on all of my handbags. Then I have here a waxy balm, you know, smooth product for my zippers. A roller for, you know, dusting away, um, you know, the dust on suede leather or maybe even velvet. It's, a, it's good to, you know, to use this on velvet. Here my baby wipes to gently clean the canvas as well as some of the leather but only leather that I know it's, it's durable enough. And then of course you know any um, microfiber cloth to use to either um, clean your handbags or to dry your handbags. And then please do not forget to use any plasticky um, gloves or um, cotton gloves you know so you can protect your hand towards the product that you are using on your handbags. These are the things that I am actually using on my handbags and I'm just looking around to see if there is anything else I could mention but actually I think this is it. I am happy that I was able to share how I do it. Please let me know what you think. Let me know if you have another way to how you, you know, clean your handbags. And I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon on my next video. Bye.